Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash the nerd core. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Hello, nerds. You're listening to an episode on the Nerd Core podcast feed. If you're feeling generous, please consider pledging to a tier on our Patreon at patreon.com slash the nerd core. We have tiers as low as $1 per month. Thanks so much, and enjoy the episode. Hey everyone, before we can get into today's episode, I need to talk to you all about Anchor. Anchor is the easiest way to make a podcast and is the platform I've been using for over two years. Anchor is easy because it's free, includes creation tools on your tablet or phone from the get-go, rewards creators with sponsorships with no minimum listenership, and best of all, they distribute your podcast to places like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and many more. So if you want to make a podcast, you should download the Anchor app or visit anchor.fm. Now let's get into today's episode. All right. Ah. Damn it. <laughs> go for it. Go for it. No, no, I mean, that's, oh, that's it. Oh, God, we're good. It. We're good. That made the cut? Yeah, of course My that's going to make the cut. My man. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, this is a, is, it's been a while, right? It's been a while, dude. 1972. <laughs> Vietnam. Miss you, bud. Jesus. Oh, wait, was it? I don't even know if it was the 70s. Was it the 70s or the 60s? Vietnam. <laughs> I don't even fucking know, dude. I'm so Vietnam sorry. was the late 60s. I'm so sorry, Mr. Frank, if you're listening. Oh, it's no, Mr. Scott, no. Frank, Frank, Frank yeah. My bad, I'm sorry, I'm exposing that's, you. That's what happens when you got two, <laughs> two, two first names for two your last name. Two first names. Two first names, bro. Yeah. Come on, let's be honest here. Um, yeah, so uh, this is a, this is, this is new. This is yeah. a new episode of the Nerd Chicano Show. Hey, what's up? You didn't think you'd hear again from us, right? <clears throat> Miss you guys. Miss the, miss the mic, miss the friend, miss yeah. the setup. Miss a friend, bitch. We, you're acting like we haven't been going to the movies together in the last, like, what, three weeks? I know, but still, <laughs> I know it's still, it's still, it's 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 a different thing that you know doing the the podcast and then going to the movies. You know, it's just a different environment to feel. You know what I mean? Yeah, so no, it's, good to, it's good to see you, bud. Yeah. By the way, everybody, if you're like listening to Luis go over, like, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to fuck with the with the mixer to yeah, see so what's what, the best setting for Luis. Sorry about my shitty voice, guys. Um, no. I, I can't do anything about it. That's what God gave me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, um, guys, I'm really sorry for my voice. I've been really, really sick these past two days, so that's been the reason why there haven't been any uploads lately. It's because I was super sick, and today I think I'm finally getting my voice back, so Patreon supporters are going to get the mini pod tonight. And, uh, yeah. Did you go to the doctor or no? Yeah. Well, well, cool thing about modern technology, there's an app called MD Live. Okay. And it's with my insurance, and I just paid ten bucks, and mm-hmm. they diagnosed me, and they gave me, and they send a prescription over. No way. And guess what they gave me, bro? What they give you? Promethazine, bro. <laughs> I'm drinking lean, lean. Yeah, your mom, man. <laughs> Illuminati. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Give me, give me a little thing about that, though. How does that work? The e doctor thing. I I just put po- I just put like, these are my symptoms, and then they connect me to a doctor. Mm-hmm. Really. Yeah. Yeah. But do the, but you do you talk to the doctor like yeah, over they call Skype? Me phone or video? I always put phone because I'm not doing video. Oh, so yeah. they're just taking your word for it. Yeah, basically. So you could, because because this is like the 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 difference, right? Like yeah, you know, because obviously like we're, I'm studying that too, like you know, yeah. different forms of of medicine and stuff like that. And so this one's one form. So essentially, one person. Just let's say, I'm not saying right, but just let's say someone who is using yeah. the system for you know. A refill on their yeah. pain medications or whatever. Yeah. How would you know how crazy that would be? Like, yeah, I like don't know for them to abuse the system like that. Yeah, I don't know. But then again, like this is something that's with certain insurances. I think mm. I I don't know. All I know is that there's an app. I called. He was like, mm-hmm. dude. He goes, yeah, you really do sound sick. I'm gonna go get him <laughs> write you a prescription for promethazine. And I got my promethazine. It's been helping really good. Uh, do I sound Do I sound <laughs> sick too? Can I get painkillers? <laughs> like, like, come on, dude. Yeah. You know how fucking easy that would be. To yeah. fucking... I'm also pretty sure that he wouldn't. They, I mean, the doctors wouldn't, you know, prescribe something unless you're like actually what? fucking sick. You're like, you know. No, no, true, true. No, yeah. but then they had that um that epidemic in Florida because you know yeah. there wasn't any 
like uh, there wasn't any regulations or something back yeah. in like 2000 and whatever the fuck. Yeah. Um, and then they had like an opioid uh, crisis. Oh, yeah, of course. The opioid epidemic. Because they started to like over prescribe yeah. and then yeah. they would just take that medication and then sell it to people. Yeah. Yeah. And then what's it called? Some people were saying like, you know, why would how would you get promethazine you yeah. know, prescribed if they know how much people abuse of that? And I'm like, yeah, well, also, I think the doctor knows that like, what's it called? I would probably wouldn't be using it like that but yeah is it the know. first time you're using it or? no it's the second time i use it once at, at the university because i got ah. really sick again like so this. but but like so you don't like going to doctor's office like going to visit them this was like, the, i only <laughs> use this like on emergencies like ah, if okay. i can't go to the doctors right like i i've only used it this one time and mm. then the one time at the university Interesting. but it's pretty cool because you know you don't have to really have to go to the doctor i don't have to go driving yeah. all the way to the doctor yeah, you get to an e doctor, I guess. Yeah, e doctor. Yeah, yeah. I guess they're pretty the cool, same man. Stuff. Yeah. So I, I hope you guys have, you know, you guys kind of missed us, don't you? You guys missed us a lot. Yeah, uh, Luis, we're at a different place now. Uh, you're at my grandma's house. Yeah. This is the house I grew up grew up on. I, you know, I was raised here. Um, my grandma's no longer with us, so you know, this house it feels a little different now being in this house. Yeah. But yeah. Don't worry, guys. The nerd gonna show you his back. There was a little brief pause, but mm -hmm. it, that was all my fault. Uh, yeah. What's it called? Yeah. You know, one hundred percent. One hundred percent, bro. One hundred percent my fault. Yeah, Michelle, if you're listening to this, the, I'm not blaming Luis. <laughs> you, like you were saying, you're gonna blame Luis. No, I'm not blaming Luis. This is one hundred percent my fault because this show didn't continue. Okay, yeah. I just there was a lot going on, and there's a lot having to balance. That's I was true. having a lot of fun with the impaired files, which I'm still having a lot of fun with. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's just that I was like, how am I going to be able to record? Because, you know, like, what's it called? My internet sucks here, bro. I'm not going to, you know, yeah. use, use the Google Hangouts like that. True. But now I actually have my little desk here. You know, I have I set up here. And Luis can just come on Fridays and we just sit down here and we just shoot the shit. You know what I noticed? Yeah. This desk is like, it's kind of the same as mine. Like, yeah, it's just I, a different I, color. I think that's it. It's. I, I'm gonna say it's like pretty much the same one. Yeah, it's just a different color scheme. Yeah, it's a good desk. I, yeah. I like these desks. Like they're pretty sturdy and stuff. You know. Yeah, I love it, dude. I the only it. thing I would, you know, maybe improve to this little setup would be maybe some Wi-Fi. You know, but that's just. <laughs> but maybe that's like a future improvement. Well, you Spectrum. Play. Whenever you decide to come over here, maybe we can actually talk about that, <laughs> because at the moment that's not gonna happen. Because, yeah. you know, what's it called? But yeah, I kind of want to get like what's it called movie like a movie poster in frame but i don't want to do any like changes here like you're right you know, like i don't want to do too much like i just want to just keep this place like as it is as it is it's, it's also like you know it's been recording here for the past last episodes have been here right. it's a lot of fun yeah i can actually like you know talk as loud as i can i don't right. have to worry about eric jumping in <laughs> uh yeah it's pretty cool so uh you know the show's back Mm -hmm. And the sh this show is unlike any other show because this is show is just nonsense mm -hmm. and nonsense only. Yeah. Every I, now and then we get deep, but this show is nonsense and nonsense only. Dude, I guys, I asked Raul mm -hmm. and like right before starting the podcast, I was like, "Hey, Raul, <laughs> like, do you have any like you know any key points or something to you know talk talk in the podcast or something like that?" And he's like, "Dude, come on, bro, sure it's an energy kind of bro. We we never have anything for that. I'm like. Yeah, yeah you're right, dude. Right. <laughs> like, that's that's pretty much how it goes here yeah. at the Nerdy Chicano Show. But no, no, no format, nothing. It's it, this is basically the 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 what's it called the only way that Luis and I get to talk into the void. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Luis is also, by the way, you know, it's been it's been a while since we've talked with Luis, and yeah. you know, uh, but what's it called the the Nerdcore Live Show is being rebooted, one hundred percent. That's happening, guys. God bless. Luis is the host of. The, the Nerdcore Live Show. God bless. Me, Luis, and Brad were all three hosts of that. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. <laughs> oh, Brad. Because you guys, me, Brad, and Ro, get the fuck out of town. <laughs> yeah, Brad was... Uh, people were saying that they actually enjoy us talking about stuff. Yeah. And, yeah, I was like, oh, you don't want that to happen. <laughs> but, hey, you guys want it to happen, so it's going to happen now. Uh, but, you know, what's it called? Uh, turn down my compressor a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. But... <clears throat> Do yeah. I have no idea what any of these buttons do, but every time you move something, I think you're like a hundred times smarter than me. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck you're fucking moving around, but yeah, I, I mean, it's, dude, it's honestly, awesome, what? I don't even know what I'm doing. All I know is that <laughs> if I do certain things to this, it, it, things happen. Yeah. You learn how to use this thing by just playing with it, dude. I, yeah. 
It's pretty Honestly, much like anything. If I if I gave you like the smaller version of this and I mm-hmm. lent it to you mm-hmm. and I showed you like the basic way of how to connect it to your to your computer, right? You would probably get this down in like a week and a half because you're just playing with it and you're just kind of so basically. I don't ever touch this. Mm-hmm. I keep this the way it is. Right. This over here, you have your lows, and your mid, your low, and your high. Those are for your like your variations in the sound waves. Right. Then you have your compressor, which if it gets to a certain part, this compresses the volume so that way it doesn't sound like I'm like a little bit too like like you know raspy like that. Okay. You have your gain, which is like how loud you are. Okay. And yeah, of course I have to have yours because I have the phantom power you know, powering mine. So it kind of diminishes yours a little bit. And then these are the levels. Okay. Yeah. I know. You I, don't s- know. I, still, I still didn't get that, but, but I'll pretend that I knew what the fuck you're talking about. Good <laughs> dude. Okay. Crazy thing, dude. So I saw this tweet, right? And I don't know if you've seen it, but it's this, I'll sh- actually, I'll show you the picture and I'll post it on my Instagram so you guys can see it. But it's, it's this photo and I want you to look at it. <laughs> dude, I had nightmares. It okay. So Y'all for those of you who don't know what it is, it's 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 an okay. Do you guys know like the that very famous picture of uh, Jesus, Mary the mother, and then the husband? Jo- uh, not, what's it in English? Joseph. Jose? Joseph. Joseph. Oh, Joseph. Yeah. Joseph. Um. So in this image that I'm seeing, it's like it's like a human, which is like supposed to be representative of Jesus. The mother <laughs> is like a chimpanzee or some sort of primate. Yeah. And the father is like this alien or whatever. And so I was looking at, cause I, cause dude, I got, dude, oh my God. I had like a, I had a nightmare yeah. on this. I love the, I love the caption of it too. Yeah. Y'all not ready to have this type of conversation. Dude, <laughs> dude, exactly. Dude, I got so scared. Cause then there was like comments on Instagram. I mean, on Twitter or whatever. And it said, uh, something about like, like, that white people were aliens and like because they're <laughs> because they have it in their genes that they um what's it called that they want to colonize us or some shit <laughs> and you know how like it's you have you know a or you have b or you have o blood but then yeah. you also have like positive or negative uh yeah. you know rh negative or rh yeah. positive this is a, this is a picture that freaked out eric which one <laughs> ew <laughs> Ew, you remember dude. that commercial? <laughs> no, I don't remember that commercial. What is yeah, that? Like a music like, commercial? Or what? It's, no, it's the commercial for like the cream that you put for athlete's foot. And Ew. it was those little things just sneaking into like the nails and stuff. Dude. It, it's a picture of one of these little like critters that sneaking dude, into Have you ever had athlete's foot? Huh? Have oh, I have it. I have it. You have it. Yeah, dude, bro. Dude, yo, bro. Same. It sucks, bro. Dude, dude I, here's the thing it, it comes and goes. Yeah. It comes and goes. Like, and it sucks. Like, yeah, it's fucking weird. Yeah, dude. It's like I, I, like you know, like I understand, like uh-huh. use the creams and stuff, but like those creams, they don't work, bro. Like yeah. honestly, and, and they I don't. don't. And I don't get it, bro. Like it's not like I don't wash my fucking feet. Yeah, it's it's, it's and and my mom. I shower saying, every day. Exactly, and then my mom's like, "Oh, es que no te secas la, los pies," and I'm like, uh, "I don't think it's that, bro. I don't think it's like that. You just don't dry your your fucking feet off." Yeah, I don't know what it is, but anyways. That's fucking disgusting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw it was like uh, how dudes with foot finishes look like, and it's those little critters sneaking into the nails. And I, Rick was like, what the fuck is this, dude? Why would you show me this? And I'm like, yeah. it's because it's funny. I bet Eric has a foot fetish or something. No, nah, dude. Yeah, Eric, Eric's a furry. That's what he is. What? What is that? Oh, good Lord. What, what's a furry? A furry is uh, someone who dresses in a... Usually a fox. Okay. And they fuck each other like that, dressed as foxes. Like with like, the tail, like yeah, with the little like furries, butt, like the butt plug. furries are like they're like really, really into like the whole idea of like being an animal ah. and fucking each other, like you know, ah. very primal. Okay. Way of that's yeah. that's a big fetish. Yeah, dude. Um, I mean, we respect I, fetishes always, out here, but yeah, no, but, no. Like, look, I, I I told this to Brad. Yeah. You know, I've been through a lot of things in my life, bro. Mm-hmm. You know. But I'm glad I never got the trauma yeah. that led me to become a fucking furry because I don't know what the hell would be. My is, l- <laughs> is that a real community though? Like, yes, is there, there actual is, people? Luis, if you search up furries on like on Twitter Pornhub? or something, yeah. yes, you're going to get a lot of stuff about furries. Like, wow. they're a big thing, dude. Wow. I, yeah. I, I know I've heard the big ones, you know, like the the feet or the BDSM, ASMR BDSM, or, the, yeah. or the BS, uh, BDSM, right? BDSM, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. But but not not about dressing up like a fucking animal. <laughs> like I dude, actually, you know what? I saw one on I don't remember what fucking what, what fucking big big uh, <laughs> network or whatever the fuck. But these people go to conventions and they dress up yeah. like horses. Yeah, those are no, those like, are furries, bro. Those are furries. Yeah, they dress up as animals. Usually Dude. furry animals. Yeah, but these people were fucking horses. They were like, no, they I, were I carrying know. each other. Like, oh no, I don't like, know about like, that. But... Like, like the the guy would be in whatever the fuck, like kind of horse costume, Here. and he would carry this <laughs> other chick or whatever the fuck, and the 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 the, the, the other girl would like fucking. You know, whip the guy, whip the oh, guy. Oh yeah, no, I think horse. we're talking about something different here, bro. I but, don't know, but I saw this big shit, and I was like, "What the fuck is this?" Hey, but there's no kink shaming, guys. But no, 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 no. Like, there's like, no kink. Sh- no, no, no. We're not discriminating, but it's just, it's. I don't know, man. It's kind of fucked up. It's I mean, I'm just gonna say it, man. It's kind of fucked up, but yeah. it's cool. Hey, yes, yeah. you do you, whatever gets your dick hard. I'm not gonna judge, right? Yeah, Eric. Uh, yeah. we're we're not judging, man. Yeah, dude. You know, Eric, all love here, dude. Yeah. Look. Where's your brother, by the way? Still working? He's working right now, yeah. Working. Yeah, he's working. Look, that's yeah. uh, furries. Uh, the furry fandom is a subculture interested in anthropomorphic... What? Anthropomorphic animals with human personalities and characteristics. Examples of anthropomorphic attributes include exhibiting human intelligence and facial expressions, speaking, walking on two legs, and wearing clothes. Yeah, so like they stress up like this. Usually like foxes, man. Wow. Okay. Wow. Like yeah, actual, and they fuck each other in like, those costumes, bro. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I I think I've seen one then. Yeah. Because I saw one one time uh, when it was Easter. Yeah. And and this uh this well I mean I don't know but this guy was an Easter bunny, and he's like hoo hoo you know you know <laughs> look at my balls or whatever and then he had his balls like in a gift cap like like an asta. Yeah. But that was it. I don't th- I think that was furry. I guess that's furry. Okay. Well, so. like those things, like you know, they actually fuck each other in those in those things. Wow. Yeah, Eric's a fucking furry man. God damn. Seriously, he is. Uh, you know, if I'm not lying, guys, he is a fucking furry. I'm just playing around. No, he's not. But no, yeah. he's not. He, he's gonna get harassed on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Don't but then again, him. he does that to himself. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Who the fuck is putting all that shit on his Twitter, man? He keeps saying it's me. It's not fucking me. <laughs> like, I'm not. Hey, we're here to sh- set the record straight. Is that Luis? <laughs> I'm not putting shit on his Twitter. Like people keep commenting, like you know, like very sexual things or whatever to him. Yo, it's not fucking me, dude. I mean, I got some <laughs> oh! limits, man. If I want to say that, I say that in, in public, bro. I send him a fucking text message. <laughs> yeah, man. when we're in, when we're in person. You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, Luis is Luis is not one to hide that stuff in in you know anonymous. Uh, nah, what's he called? Askings. Like no, nah, man. I've never been shy, dude. Come on, bro. Why would I start now? <laughs> dude, I got into this word now. Um, and it's my new favorite word. It's called yeah. bozo. Bozo. Yeah, I Bozo, know because Megan dude. says it a lot too. A lot. Bozo. Yeah. Like, dude, it's so funny. I love that word. It's like bozo this, bozo that, bozo the clown. Yeah. What the fuck? Bozo. I think it's so funny. It's like boo boo the fool, bro. It's like doofus. Man. That shit's funny. I don't know why. I don't know why I brought that, but it's just I thought it was it's fucking funny. funny. Man. Yeah. yeah. Look, dude, it's uh What's up? it's funny. <laughs> yeah, you say bozo a lot. Uh, Megan says bozo a lot too. Bozo. Yeah. Um <laughs> It's um, we we we've watched a lot of stuff since we last talked. Uh, yeah. We watched uh, Godzilla. We watched. Um, Toy Story. Did, did you watch that? What? Toy Story. No, I haven't watched Toy Story. Chucky. We watched Chucky. Watched Chucky. Yeah, but uh, Godzilla was the one we both really enjoyed. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Very God. nice. That oh, was. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Oh, fucking love Cinematic that. Cinematic beauty. Oh yeah. Aesthetically That's, uh, pleasing. Like fucking. Print all those frames from that movie Dude. and put them on my tombstone, bro. Because that's Dude. beautiful. Like, yeah, like oh my god, I love the, all the effects and the CGI. Yeah. And they they went out, they went ham on that movie, bro. They like, did. Yeah. They looked like they definitely worked hard yeah. on it, and I yeah. thoroughly enjoyed the movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I really enjoyed that one. Um, we've got, we've got. Uh, yesterday is prom- prom- premiering this weekend. Uh, that's the one about what if like there was a world where the Beatles never existed and there's only one person that remembers him. Ah, yeah. And he makes like songs out of it. And yeah, yeah. He's, so he's, like, because famous. he's a struggling musician. Yeah. And you know nobody remembers the Beatles. So they're gonna you know he's gonna try to like 
you know. Do you think that movie's gonna be interesting? You, you want to watch that? Movie? I want to watch that because really? because the uh, yeah because I. First I would of expect all, you to watch that type of movie. Yeah, because first of all, the director Danny Boyle he did a uh, Slumdog Millionaire, and he did like. Oh, not Lion, but he did. Yeah, he did do Slim Dog Millionaire. He also did. Not that big of a fan of that movie. I love Slim Dog Millionaire. Really? Oh my god, I love Slim Dog. I Millionaire. didn't find it that interesting. I think he did Life of Pi. That one was better. That one was. Yeah, better. I think he did do that Life one was of better. Pie. He's been working with a lot of like what's it called, of Indian actors as like you know the last couple of movies have been with Indian actors. And they've is, been Indian stories. Is he Indian himself? No, he's not. He just really has a fascination, I think. Fetish. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, hey. We're not going into fetish. No, we're not going into that here, okay? We're not getting ourselves canceled the first time we come back. Yeah, but, yeah. but yeah, you know, Danny Boyle, he was supposed to do the next Bond movie. Uh, things didn't work out. But yeah, I want to watch Yesterday. That looks good. Uh, oh, did you hear who got casted as... Uh, what big role was it? It was... Uh, Millie Bobby Brown and somebody else got Henry cast, Cavill and Henry Cavill got casted as uh, yeah. Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, Sherlock Holmes and she's gonna be Elena Holmes. Elena Holmes. Yeah, uh, that that looks so cool. Yeah. I think it's just I think it's just awesome that. But do you think do the you three think... Sherlock's that we've had all end up being superheroes? You know, yeah. Robert Downey is what's called the best Iron Man. One. The best one. Yeah, let's put he, it there. Benedict Cumberbatch, who was uh, second best. He's the second. And you the know, BBC. he's the, the uh-huh. Doctor Strange. Uh huh. And now you have Aaron Cavill, Superman, who's going to be Sherlock Holmes. How do you, you know what? How do you think he's going to, he's going to be? He's got the looks. He's, he's got, got the he's look. definitely got the looks. Do yeah. you think he's got the wit and the fast paced talk of what Sherlock Holmes, well, at least what we've seen before through Robert Downey Jr. I think he can do it. And through Benedict Cumberbatch. I think he can do it. You think so? I 100% think he can do it. Hmm. But. I, I'll, I'll, I'll. I don't know. I had. I have no idea about that. It's it's something that I'm gonna keep my eyes on for sure. Yeah. Uh, I, I do not. I did not like Mission Impossible Fallout. But really? I said that I thought that Cavill was fantastic in that oh, movie. Yeah. He was incredible in that movie. Beautiful. He was great. Uh, I'm glad that he's kind of getting more roles, man. You know, he's doing that Witcher series for Netflix. He did that yeah. series. He was in Mission Impossible Fallout. Right. I think. I think I'm just glad that he's getting these roles because you know. We're sitting around here waiting for a Man of Steel too. I bet he's the one who's sitting around there too, and it's just never coming right now. So you know, he's like, might as well just keep on making my name by getting all these other roles. So I, I'm kind of glad he got that casting. You know, um, you, you know what? I'm sorry. Just talking about superheroes real quick. Ezra Miller. <coughs> have you seen that movie? He he did back in 2011 or something like which that. Which one? Uh, the one where he is a. School shooter. Yeah. Dude, oh, he's not just, a sh- yeah. Yeah, he's like a. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, he's a school. No, he's a. I'm sorry, not a shooter. He fucking <laughs> bow and arrow to people. Yeah. Pretty, pretty yeah. Sure the same shit. We need to talk about Kevin. Yeah. That one, yeah. dude. Dude, believable as. Oh fuck. man. How did I not watch that movie? It's been. I, years. I love that movie, man. Dude. I, I, it hurt that scene where you just see his pair, his dad just. Mm-hmm. And then the little girl too, dude, the, the little, little girl, sister. Dude. Like, they, oh man, she's so good in that movie, dude. He's and then, and then so she, good. And then he only left the mom alive. Yeah, which was, Moss, which yeah. was, which was really weird choice. Yeah. Why he decided to leave her when the dad was obviously, yeah. you know, his favorite, and the daughter but was, it's also, was indifferent. It's what I remember that movie. It was really like, the, like. Thinking to the psyche of, you know, this very troubled child who mm-hmm. was really getting his way with his dad, but he wasn't getting his way with his mom. Yeah. So, like, at the end, he was kind of twisting it and turning it like, you know, like, if I would have killed my mom, like, if the, if she would have killed his mom, right. the father would have known that everything that happened was true. But the fact that he killed the mo- the dad and the sister, mm-hmm. it only proves the same thing that, you know, the mom had always thought about the kid. But... You know, True. It, it was it's it's a very very good movie. Very. No, I just wanted to randomly bring that up because it's 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 very dark and it's like you know it's the the girl the lady who directed that movie she also did a really good movie with uh what the hell uh You're getting a bunch of mosquito bites dude I yeah, saw one there and then on your other arm too yeah bro you know mosquitoes love me you know that he, she did she just reached, like last year I think she put out a movie uh, you were never really here it's with uh, Joaquin Phoenix. He okay. plays a veteran that's coming back from war, mm-hmm. and he's basically going around town and just 
whacking, uh, what's he called, pedophiles. And he's trying wow. to disrupt a pedophile ring. Yeah. It's, he's so good in that movie too, bro. Oh, and what he's... What movie is that called? So I can you Were Never Really Here. It's on Amazon Prime. You Were Never Really Here. You Were Never Really Here. I'll put yeah. that on my list. She she directed that one. Oh my God, it's so good, dude. Is it? But it's like, she she's such a great director, but she chooses these really, really dark concepts. There's like, when I watch these movies, like, you need to talk about Kevin. Like, mm-hmm. once I watch them, I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I don't think I have to revisit that for like another two years. Because it's just so dark and depressing. Yeah. And I'm used to watching dark and depressing stuff. But that, I was like, yeah, that's a little bit too, too, you know. A little too much. Yeah. Because yeah. we see it all the time on the, on the, on the news, bro. Like, right. when these things happen. And, you know, like, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I think I'm good. <laughs> I'm going to have to wait on this one. Yeah. It's very different from the reason why I don't watch The Shining, but... Have, have you, you seen that movie before? The Shining? Yeah. I watch it only once a year. Dude, you know what, dude? I've never seen it because I heard it's scary. You know, remember, remember Mauro? Yeah. Mauro used to tell me, dude, like, this is like the scariest movie I've ever watched. And I'm yeah. like, and you know, obviously me, I'm a fucking pussy. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to watch this shit or whatever. <laughs> so... I have yet to see that movie, but I've heard so many good reviews yeah. about that. Yeah, it's um, I've got the Blu-ray. I can always lend it to you. Mm-hmm. Um, it's 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 not scary. As more that it's disturbing and it makes me feel icky watching it. Icky. I don't like the feeling when I watch The Shining. It's like it's it's not like jump scare right in your face, bro. It's like disturbing, and you're mm-hmm. just seeing this guy turn like slowly go without mad spoilers. without spoilers yeah yeah slowly go mad uh-huh. and it, i just don't like the feeling i get when i watch the shining and that's why i think it's an amazing movie because for the movie to do that to you right yeah but it's not scary it's more so like disturbing it's like psychologically not like it's not a good feeling i get when i watch it right <laughs> no speaking of speaking of movie i know we're just randomly jumping or whatever yeah no it's good i saw the review by one of the one of the very trusted uh, YouTube reviewers of movies, Jeremy Chris, Johns. No, uh, Chris <laughs> Chris Stuckman. Yeah, Stuckman eyes or whatever. Jeremy he, Johns. He saw the movie uh, from the director of Hereditary. Oh, Midsummer. Yeah. And he gave it a B minus because he said a it lot. wasn't that good. He said yeah, that it, he said contrary. that it was visually beautiful, but he said that the movie itself, yeah, was just it wasn't there. And that's funny because. My Twitter feed when that when they did the first reactions, yeah, they were praising the shit out of the movie. They said really? that they went to home mm-hmm. and they were still thinking about this movie. They woke up the next day and they were still thinking about this movie. Oh, and, you know that it's like it is disturbing. It is they, you know that there's stuff in that movie that is gonna cling with you to the end of the until you get home. It's kind of the same way that I felt about Hereditary. Like the I finished damage. watching it. Mm-hmm. Straight up, bro. Two weeks, I hadn't stopped thinking about that movie, bro. I was yeah. like, "Oh my god!" Like Spe- specifically that image of that yeah. girl on the side of the road, yeah, with the ants and shit. That was that is yeah. always embedded in my head. I can recall that memory in my head. Yeah, bring it back to my front of my head, and I can still recall the yeah. detail of the yeah of it's, that image. Yeah, that's another movie that I don't plan on rewatching anytime yeah. soon, and I haven't bought. Mm-mm. But it's like it's I. I was reading those reviews and they were like, no, this is a real, he goes, it's not quite up to par with what hereditary was. Right. But this is a really, really good movie that he made. It was also great because, you know, I was also really interesting. What I found out, it was that he made this movie. He wrote this movie mm-hmm. after a really bad breakup. And I was like, holy crap, man, this guy just wrote this movie after a breakup. You know, Dang. imagine, imagine what else he has written down. Like, what the fuck did you read? What the fuck did you write when, when you're, when you're like your parents died or something, dude? Yeah. Like, God, like I could just imagine what scary stuff you got written in there that you haven't turned into a company yet. Uh, it's, he, yeah, it was, um, it, it looks really, really good. Mm-hmm. It looks like it's one that I need to kind of go in, shut my brain off. Like I did with hereditary and let me you know, fully immerse myself into it. And when I get out, I will probably let you guys know what I think about it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same thing as hereditary where I'm going to be thinking about this movie for weeks. When does that come out next week with because Spider-Man far from home comes out next week as well. What are we yeah. doing? What are we thinking? Are we doing Spider-Man? We're we doing well, Mid-Summer. Spider-Man, Spider-Man showing Monday. Yeah. You know, like bronzo. Cinema? Yeah, I mean, checked my app and everything, dude. It's, it's showing on Monday already. It's $5 Tuesday, cuz. 
You want to go? Of course. Dude. Yeah, if I go. Dude, then let's fucking order. Yeah, dude. I'll order after the podcast. Sure. We'll get a couple tickets. You yeah. Know? You know, Spider-Man Far From Home on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. What's it called? So we'll go see that one. Yeah. And then Midsummer in the weekend. Well, no, not the weekend. Uh, shooting the movie next week. Next, ah, weekend. next weekend. Already, buddy? Yeah. Hey, dude. I want to be here to hold the fucking yeah. uh, microphone and shit, dude. I well, you're either doing the microphone or you're doing script supervising. Yeah. So either one of those two. But yeah. Yeah. It's um, yeah. You guys, I actually have not talked about this at all. Yeah, please. And, please, uh, please. It's very interesting. Yeah, I mean, Luis, you can ask me anything about the movie if you want. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. we're we're like this close for it to be. I shot. will ask you one, a uh, couple things, so that way I know the answers, but I just want the audience to know as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, first of all. Uh, this you wrote this film, yeah. This mm-hmm. short film or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, what's it about? Give me a little synopsis of what it is without actually spoiling. Yeah. Well, the, the spoiler uh, is always there. It's there from the beginning. It's known from the beginning, whether you want to accept it or not. It's okay. it's it's known. It's about this couple. Mm-hmm. Um, their names are Jose and Jessica. They one lives in Bronzeville, one lives in Matamoros, and. They have 24 hours to spend together before the border is closed forever. And they are, well, not forever, for the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. And they basically have to make the best out of these last 24 hours that they have together. I wrote the movie. Trump had tweeted that if Mexico would not, you know, stop doing the things that it's happening or whatever, whatever he wants to call this fake emergency, fucking emergency, whatever fake emergency he's talking about, he said that he would have to close the border. And that got me thinking, like, there's an, there's something that's always interested me. And I think Luis can kind of jump in here because he's the actual person who's ever had a real relationship. Mm-hmm. You always separate from your partner when you kind of leave. You yeah. know, you go home, mm-hmm. you sleep. Right. You don't, you don't know when you're going to see them the next time. You know, it's probably going to be the weekend. You know, you're still talking to them to the phone. But you've, you've emotionally separated yourself from them. For yeah, a bit. For sure. Now I thought, how about this? Like, I want to think, I want to talk about how that plays when you're physically separated and you do, literally don't know when's the next time you might see each other. And I wanted to talk about, you know, emotional and physical separation. I think. I thought, of being, and I thought, you know, everybody was like, oh, well, why didn't you do it by like a mother and child? Because mm-hmm. not everybody is a mother and not everybody is a father. Mm-mm. Not everybody has a kid, but everybody has had that one person they absolutely love. And if you were never able to see that person again without, and I'm not saying a breakup because it's not technically a breakup. It's mm-hmm. a forced separation. So I wanted to talk about like, what, what would you do those last hours if you knew you may never see this person again? That That's such a good yeah. question and such a actually like realistic question because it happens all oh, the yeah. time dude it happens all the time yeah people get separated all the time migrant workers yeah you know uh what's it called they might be at your town for like two or three years and then they have to move to like fucking michigan to go do work over there mm-hmm. so a new school new life because because like at the same time <clears throat> this person that you invested so much time into mm-hmm. and you love and you care mm-hmm. and you have a deep emotional relationship with them um and and even though you're still texting them and you're still FaceTiming them or whatever, yeah. that physical connection is very different. Uh, nothing beats it, dude. Like you're yeah. with that person and yeah. you don't ever want to leave that there, person. There's something about physically touching someone. And yeah. I don't mean that in a sexual way. I don't no, mean no, that no, in no, anything. No, no. I'm and either way, you know, sexuality is a big part of relationships and it yeah. should be talked about in a very what's it called a uh, very comfortable and way that you know you two can get across what you're feeling mm-hmm. but there is a certain feeling that comes with physically having somebody there yeah and i wanted to talk about that i wanted to talk about what would you do if you were never possibly able to see that person again and you didn't know when was the next time you would be able to see that person well that really all depends on how or what kind of relationship you have with that person but if yeah. you were to think okay, well, this girl or this guy or whatever it is that you're, uh, this person you're attached to, and you're like, okay, well, I really want to, I really see my future with this person, yeah. and and you're, like, planning each other's futures, and they're like, and this is what we're going to do, happens. this is what we're going to say, and 
hey, this is how many kids we're gonna have. This is what our plans together, and then something that's out of your control yeah. tells you you can't be together because mm -hmm. of a non-existent border. Yeah, because. Earth has no true borders. Yeah. There is but, no fucking yeah. separation between the, uh, the and U.S. By the way, I and mean, Mexico. Yeah. It's just a piece of fucking land. <laughs> yeah, and by the way, uh, the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo said that the border was at the Nueces River. And the Nueces River, bro. Yeah. We got so, so much more fucking room, <laughs> so, fucking yeah, we got, they I'm got sorry. Screwed, no, I'm sorry. I love America. But just, they got screwed out of a lot of fucking land. So, Dude. <laughs> well, we're talking like acres and acres yeah, of fucking land. Yeah, acres of fucking, and that you know, this is a, that's a conversation I'll have another day because yeah. that's like three freaking hours of that that I can talk about. But yeah, I really wanted to talk about anybody who's known me, known that I don't do a lot of the lovey dovey stuff, and this movie is not lovey dovey. Mm -mm. You know it from the beginning that these people are not going to see each other again. So you're there, kind of examining. I don't know. That makes me really sad. Yeah, yeah. Oh and I, I'm already, I, my heart's already breaking. Yeah, and I hope <laughs> it does. And I hope it does. I don't want you to feel happy. I want you to understand that the, these, reality. the reality of the things. Like, in, I'm showing you a couple. Imagine a goddamn son and a, a mom. Uh, like, a son and his and a mother yeah. and his daughter. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, that's, I wanted, I really wanted to talk about this. And I really wanted to explore it. And, I'm glad that I'm going to make it now because this is something I've, you know, I'm not going to spoil anything. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell you how it ends, even though you can already picture how it's going to end mm -hmm. because there is no other way to see it. They're going to be separated. But I wanted to kind of explore that. You know, I've, right. I've never been in a relationship. You know, like I've never felt that. But I put myself in like the shoes of somebody who has. Mm -hmm. And I thought, if I could never see this person again, fuck. Like, and there's nothing that I can absolutely do. Like, you know, I'm not gonna leave my family, go to the border just so I can marry my girl over there. Mm -hmm. You know, and she's not gonna come over here and marry me over here because it's gonna be a longer process. Like, you know, there's just sadly there's something that is just it's an unjust law that is keeping you from each other. And I and I thought and I said. I want to examine those last 24 hours. I want to see what they do. I want to see the time they spend with each other. I want to see each embrace, each kiss. I want to see that before it's honestly all separated. Uh, see, I'm a, I'm a very lovey-dovey person. Yeah. So I love seeing love and then for love to be broken. It's just... And it's, Dude, I it's, cried again. I watched the movie again, uh, <laughs> The Star is Born. I have oh, okay. Eric, Eric watched it for the first time. He cried, bro. Died, dude. I fucking died and came back still crying. But anyways, yeah. besides the point, but going back to your movie. Um, and so you're starting to, uh, you're going to film this next, next week. week, next week uh -huh. that you have your actors already. Uh -huh. Okay. Who, who are your actors? Um, so we had somebody, she dropped out. So the stars have a line. I'm able to work with Arlene now. Okay. After a long time of trying to plan a lot of projects with her, uh -huh. the stars have aligned. Everything is good. And then our good buddy, Andrew, who does comedic roles on Harry Shorts, had a really, really wanted to kind of try out for a dramatic role. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what, man? I'm a lover of giving people a shot with stuff they're not comfortable with. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Might as well. Yeah. Might as well. I am shooting and I am directing it, of and, course. And uh, Alex is editing. Alex is editing. Yes, I'm Alex. holding the fucking uh, sound thing, so I'm I'm a vital part of this, <laughs> of this film. So fuck y'all if y'all don't think I am. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't get really credit, but you know, yeah. he's like, I was there to help. I was there, man. I was, you know, I hold the I fucking, held the mic. Yeah. I held the mic, dude. I, yeah. If he doesn't get to hold the mic, he's going to at least be supervising the script, making yeah. sure that they're saying the lines. But look, this has been a project that you know took a lot of time to ha make happen, and I expected it, but. uh there's um, what's it called? I I the last three projects I've done were all school projects, mm -hmm. so I understand why those happened a little bit faster, because people are forced to do them. But when you're not forcing somebody to do something, mm -hmm. what's gonna happen, bro? I don't know. People aren't gonna want to do it. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's it's it sucks, man. It sucks. But uh, look, I shoot next week. Alex will start editing it. 
We're going to do a little bit of promotion yeah. episodes on podcasts to talk about the movie, promote it a little bit. And then I want to say it should be up by first week of August. I'm, I think Alex and I are shooting for it to be, you know, first week of August. That's good. Yeah. The that's, movie, a, that's a good goal. Yeah. The short film is called Beyond the River. And oh. spoiler alert, I'm not doing another one of these. Mm-hmm. What's it called after this one? After this one, I'm going to experiment with some stuff and I'm going to write another script. But, you know, this is this is a project that I've wanted to do for a while. It's it's not a passion project, mm-hmm. but it's one that I've had in the back of my head for a long time. I'm excited to see that. Yeah. You have a very interesting <clears throat> man role and I, and I want it to come out. And and I know that you've had some trouble with actors or scheduling. You know, I know how it goes, right? Yeah. But, I mean, God willing, this will work out for you and you'll be yeah. able to... F- finish if not finish most of your shooting to the, yeah. that next week um you'll have most of it done so that way yeah you actually get to work with him and i'm proud of you bro i'm proud yeah. of you there is um it's 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 a very 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 tough position that i put myself in mm-hmm. because you know me i'm not the bossy type of person i'm not the tough person who like forces you to do anything you should but when i want something yeah i fucking want it yeah i want it really bad like I'm going to work my ass off to get it. So, like, that's why I was like, like that. Back of everybody. Hey, sure you want to trade for the role? You want to do this? Want to mm-hmm. do that? Hey, man, did you get the days off? Did you get the days off? No, I'm sorry. To my to my cast and crew, I'm really sorry that I kept blowing up your messages. Yeah. But, you know, this is a really, really important project to me. It is what it is. Yeah. And it's... um Get in the, or get the fuck out. Yeah, it's for the people who didn't get to participate in it. I'm 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 sorry that you know it couldn't happen this time. We'll try to make it happen the next one. But uh, you know, I'm kind of at the point where I need these things to happen. And if the stars aren't aligning, then you need to tell me so that way I can get the fuck up and you know start working with somebody else. You know, like it's it's very much, and I don't want to put anybody on blast. I'm just saying that I will fuck way, you. No, the, no, no, the way that I work. Mm-hmm. It's very much on my time, especially because it's my vision. It's my vision. If I was, if I, if I just wrote this, ah, I'd just be chilling over here. Like, okay, bro, tell me, just tell me when we're, when we're gonna get ready. I'll, I'll be there to consult. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, let the director and the producer basically do all they need to do. Yeah. Yeah, but I wrote this. I'm directing it. I produced it. And what's oh, it called? I'm shooting it. So I kind of have to put myself in that position. And your casting. And you're doing all this extra work yeah. that's like... Yeah. You're, so getting your, you're getting your fucking yeah. dick pulled, man. Yeah, I really am, dude. But I'm, hopefully it works out, man. Yeah, oh, thank you, man. I really hope so, too. Yeah. Yeah. The next one, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about horror next script. Mm. But I'm... I'm I've, I I also... We wrote a really, really good script that I want to shoot. Mm-hmm. Because I really, really like it. I would like to add a little bit to it. Yeah. But we wrote a really, really good script that I would really like to make. You know, I have a lot. I have a lot of stuff in the vault. Yeah, but Ide- ideas never run out. No, they never. It's run out. It's just the, 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 getting the actors doing yeah. the film shooting. Yeah, that's the harder part. And sadly, you know, I love my hometown, but Houston, I got so many people who are already, you know, kind of down to do something. Mm-hmm. And over here, I found myself like having to constantly find ways to find people here who are actually down to do it. Yeah. And, you know, maybe that's just because a lot of the people here, it's not something that's been really famous around here. You know, in Houston, you have more populated, more people who want to do a lot of things. And, you know, it's it's the like, I'm going to be real with you, dude, because obviously we both live here. Yeah. But it's the (sighs) attitude, bro. Yeah. People here have this. I don't care. Like that kind of attitude, which is sometimes it's kind of like. It's kind of gross. It's yeah. it's it, like there's a lack of motivation in yeah. whatever the fuck they want to do. Yeah. It doesn't have to be just in general. Them yeah. getting their dreams on or their goals yeah. accomplished. They have this like negative attitude uh-huh. of like, nah, man, I'm good. Or nah, yeah. or nah, nah, nah. It, that's like the favorite word people like to use yeah. here apart from. Ah. Nambe. Yeah, nambe. It's like nah, 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 nah. It's like. Yeah. It's. You know, I love my hometown. Sucks, I love my hometown mm-hmm. more than anything, bro. I love this community here. You know, I, I really do love the people here. Yeah, it's But cool. it's like, there is a mentality here where it's like, you know, you don't want to really chase what you want, you know. Mm-hmm. 
it's um and it sucks because you know we have a lot of talent here a lot of talent that could be used if we could just you know kind of apply ourselves and really put ourselves out there and understand that it's not a thing that could happen in like three months four months like you have to really apply yourself for years and years on end. Like it's the way I always say, it. I was like, said it on the first couple of episodes. And I said it here, I'm not doing this for it to be big in one year or two years. Mm-mm. I'm willing to grind this shit out for 10, 20 years, bro. I don't care. Whenever it happens, it happens. But like I'm busting my ass. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not sitting around here thinking that the process is this short term, short term thing. I'm thinking in the macro, bro. I'm thinking about the macro, yeah. not the micro. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about big picture stuff, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it, it sadly that's the mentality that you don't really find here, and it sucks mm-hmm. because you see a lot of people with so much potential that if only they would apply themselves, they could do the things that they want to do, and only if they understood that those things that you were put into your head when you were young, like those insecurities saying that no, oh, you can never do this, you can never mm-hmm. do that, they're fucking wrong. You can do it. Absolutely. You just have to do it. You just have to start, and you can do it. And, you know, sadly, like, it's hard to unpack stuff that we were told when we were young. But when you learn to do it, oh, my God, you can see all the things you can do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where, and if you think about it, bro, like me and you, just in general, just, just for yeah. example, me and you, me and then you, right? They should have gone fucking water. Look, look, look where this. we live. Look where we live. <laughs> we live on the oh, border. Yeah. Second thing, we live yeah. in the, not the richest part no, of Brazil. We live in the hood, bro. Exactly. We live in the fucking hood. So statistically speaking, I'm supposed to have my t- second kid yeah. dropped out of high school. Yeah. Been working in a whatever kind of job. Yeah. You should be a drug dealer. Yeah. Or have gone to jail once. Yeah. Statistically. Yeah. But it's about having that mentality, like you said, yeah. beating the statistic. Yeah. Like, I want to do what I want to do. You know? I don't want to be the token stereotype that everybody looks at. Right. You know, and sometimes we embrace our stereotypes. Like, you know, like if you ask me if I like tacos, I like tacos. I'm sorry. That's yeah. my sir. But like, it's also an engraved in our community, like the, the fear of jail. Like if you didn't, if you didn't, what's it called? If you, if you haven't done, like if you, there are two things that are the things that you fear as a Latino. You fear either getting, what's it called? Deported because you're not, you know, what's it called? You're not, what's it called? Uh, documented or you fear going to jail. Hmm. Those are two things that are guaranteed fears when you're born into the community that we're born into. <laughs> and, That's true. And even if you don't do anything wrong, yeah. even if you're from this fucking yeah. country or you've never even had a prior, yeah. you still get shit scared yeah. when they stop you. It's, yeah. Why it's is that? It's very real. It's, it's very so real. It's so stupid. Why? Why should we have to be scared? If they're here to serve and protect, yeah. why are we scared? Yeah. So then I'm telling you, like, we that we live here in the hood. Yeah. And then you look at the rich side of this town. Mm-hmm. Trust fund babies. Motherfucker. Yeah. Who oh get everything no, paid for. Yeah. yeah and they're still not even doing what they want to do. They're nah, going man. the way, the route that they're always told to do things. And it's like, you know, I don't care if you're a trust fund baby. Like, you know, you, you, there are actual people in this earth that wish they weren't trust fund babies. Yeah. Because... They sadly feel like they have, uh, you know, these things to live up to. But I'm saying anybody can change it. You can do whatever you want to do. You don't have to be doing these things that you were told since you were very young that you were supposed to do. You can always, you know, doesn't matter. Yeah. You look at it in the grand scheme of things. If you're 30, you got 80 more years to live. I mean, what's it called? Like 60 more years to live. That's 60 years you can still use to do a lot of stuff. If you're 20, ah, even better, bro. You got 70 more years to live. Basically. Basically. Basically, yeah. Mm. So, uh, uh, you know, you know, I always like to go in these philosophical rants. Like, you know, this, you know, you guys are going to get a lot more of this when they do my interview for the, uh, for the impaired files. Uh, Daniela's going to do that one for me. She's going to be on the other receiving end and talking to me, but yeah. I promise you guys, you've only touched the surface with me. Like there's more than I think. And like, there's more. You're smart, me. man. You're yeah. smart, man. Dude. I don't yeah. think I'm smart. I just think that I'm aware. Now nah, you're fucking smart. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you're wicked smart. You're wicked smart. You're wicked smart. You're fucking, fucking Matt Damien looking ass. Yeah. Smart ass. <laughs> MIT looking. 
<laughs> yeah, I should have gotten a water before he did this because my throat. My you know what? Dude, I was gonna ask you that. I was like, dude, there's waters in the fridge. <laughs> but look, we're almost done here, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, um, what, what's one the, final thing? One final thing. Just wanted to ask you. Yes, my my shirt is ripped. Okay. You know, I wasn't gonna ask you that, but I did see it when you pointed it out. Yeah. And uh, so get that sewn on, dude. Yeah, well, this is what I used to sleep in. Ah. Yeah. I got it home, and I just kind of changed myself. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. It's all good. Fuck. You going on vacation this, this summer? <laughs> Any vacation? Nah. <laughs> no, I'm so sorry for that. What's, that. A, what's a vacation, bro? I'm so sorry for disrespecting you, sir. <laughs> yeah. No, bro. I haven't been yeah. to a vacation in a long time. No? Yeah, you know? me neither. Nah, bro. What's Dude, a I wish I wish I had vacation money, dog. Fucking six yeah. flag shit, man. Yeah, no, of course. I wish I did too, bro. Yeah. I wish I did too. Um, Temporary struggle, bro. But at the good. end, I bet the end. Yeah. 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 Don't worry. We'll get there, bro. We'll get there, bro. Melana no, I already told my parents. What? I would, my, my, uh, my graduation gift. Mm. I want to go to Galaxy's Edge. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Yes, I want to go to Star Wars Galaxy Edge. Oh, man. I want to yeah. go to Vatican City. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, that's probably going to be my, vac- my next vacation. But, yeah. Um. It's important to do vacations, but sometimes the motherfucker's got to work, bro. Dude, the struggle's real, bro. Yeah. yeah. Past two days, I was out of work, bro, because I was sick. Kind of. How, how did your boss take it? They give you oh, shit about it? Okay. No, she was okay with it. My man. Yeah, especially because I told you, yeah, doctor kind of ordered it, man. She's like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And so they got somebody? Yeah, I think they had somebody at the shop. Mm. Yeah. Um, I know there was one thing I wanted to mention in here, but... uh. I kind of don't remember. I brought up the Michelle things that I was all that I was gonna say was your fault, which is not true because it's not your fault that this show never happened anymore. I brought up um, that we're, you're hosting the show with we, with Brad and I. I have a question, and I don't know if I can ask you this, and you can cut around this if you want. No, nah, don't. I don't cut. No cut. No cut. Okay, so there was this Patreon thing. Yes. Ten people. And yeah. I don't know if you've mentioned it already into the other. We're back. We're back at eight. Yeah. Okay. When you get to ten and you go back to Houston, then you can probably diet. Diet. Oh hair. no! I mean, we already reached the goal. I have to diet. You have to diet. When will you yeah. diet? Whenever Michelle decides to come down. Dude, I think she was here, dude. Huh? She was here a little bit ago, I think. Yeah, I we talked. She wasn't going to be able to come over here. Mm. Yeah. So whenever she comes. Yeah. Dye the hair. Yeah. Mama. Yeah. But look, um, what's it called? The Patreon's kind of glitchy yeah. right now. Why? What happened? I have no idea, Ma. I don't know how technology works most of the time. It's kind of glitchy right now. So it says that we have nine people. Right. But it says we, uh, like on the thing when I checked the Patreon relationship manager, it says we have nine people. But on the thing it says eight. I'm like, okay, then which one is it? Nine or eight. Yeah. yeah. Should be nine. Uh, but look, it's going to happen. We're going to reboot the show. You know, you guys got us there. So what's it called? We have to. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do it. But there was one thing I wanted to bring up so bad. I want you to remember. I want to remember gonna too. Because going to be fucking pissed off if you. Yeah. Uh, it, it, you know, when we're off air, we're going we're gonna to bring it up. And we're like, dude, why didn't you bring that up? Because that's a really funny thing to talk about. Yeah. Um, dude, you better remember, oh, bro. What? Yes. What? Yes. What? Holy crap. What? So I told you this story. Which when time? I went to go eat, and the guy wanted to get, so what's it called? Unnamed person at an unnamed restaurant. Okay. I give ten dollars because my wings come out to fourteen twenty eight. Yeah. I give ten dollars in cash, and I say put the rest in the card right. at unnamed restaurant by unnamed server. And the dude asked me if he wants to, if I can put if he can put five dollars on my card. Why the hell do you want to put five dollars on my card? When it's forty twenty eight, I'm giving you ten dollars. Okay, did he maybe think in his bozo mind that maybe if you're gonna you put, wanted a tip? Was maybe that was his tip? I don't he's, know. He's I like rounded up to fifteen. No, I no, hope right? not. No, right? Because, bro, like, <laughs> I was like, why do you want to do that? Uh-huh. I'm giving you ten dollars, and tell you put the rest on the card. Right. It's four twenty eight that goes on the card. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. God damn. Okay, no, he was just stupid. Dude. Yeah, I'm like, no. And the funny thing is, I went with Jonathan that day to eat. 
I haven't seen Jonathan in a long time. He did the same thing to Jonathan. He gives him 20 bucks and he yeah. says half and half. Half on the card, half on the money. He goes, what's half of that? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, dude? How does he work there? I, these, I'm telling you, bro, ain't nothing wrong with putting you in the back to clean up the dishes or to make the wings. Ain't nothing wrong to do that. Don't put him in the cashier Don't section. Don't put him at the cashiers, man. Yeah. God that's damn, what I, I want. That's what I wanted to bring up. And I was just like, I'm sitting there like, why do you want me to put $5 on my... If you're going to put $5 on my card, yeah. you better take out nine twenty eight out of my $10 I gave you. Yeah. Give me a fucking change. Which is still stupid. It's like, still stupid. Just fucking make it easy on yourself. Take the $10, charge yeah. the 4 28 and get on with the fucking... <laughs> Exactly. It's fucking wing barn guys. Fucking idiots. I no. No, it's not. Unnamed restaurant. No, yes, not, it is. I'm not confirming. Fucking morons. I'm not I'm not confirming. I'm not saying who it was. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying where it's located. I'm just saying that unnamed restaurant and uh, yeah, an unnamed I server. I remember which one it was. Yeah. yeah. Look, man, I'm just saying there ain't nothing wrong with putting them people in the back to to to, to, to serve the wings. God damn it. Honestly. But it's good ass wings though. Oh, I'll, it's give good ass I'll give them that. Yeah, good ass wings. Good ass wings, bro. Yeah. Fuck but, wings up. Hey, maybe the guy was just having a like a long day. There was like a lot of things going on. I don't true. know. True, true, true. But, Let's not judge him before. Yeah. We know I never judge. I I was just surprised that this guy wanted to go full five dollars on the card. I'm like, no, bro. You look yeah. at ten. It's worth twenty eight. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I wanted to bring up. And, uh, you know, hey, treat your people right, man. You know, dude, those people don't deserve for you to give them shit. I didn't give him shit. I just wanted him to make sure he understood why he was putting 428 on the card and not $5. And I know you're saying, Raul, it's like a little bit of cents extra. Shut up. I don't want him to do it to another person and charge $7 when it's like a $3 that he's supposed to put on a card. Okay? Yeah. So before you guys give me shit. Because it was on two people. <laughs> Mind yeah, you guys, it's not just it. one. Have it's not it. just one person, guys. <laughs> so imagine, you know, them him doing that the whole fucking day. Yeah, I don't know yeah. where he was fucking sticking that cash in or whatever fucking yeah. extra money, but yeah. let's just say, let's just say that or whatever. Yeah. So this has been a fun time talking. Uh, really, I don't, I can't see how much time we've really gone. Fast. I think we've done like an hour or something like that. Or yeah, we're actually five minutes from doing the whole hour. But five I, minutes. Yeah, five great. Minutes. We can talk about theories. <laughs> okay. Look, so I I'm was really, watching this Netflix yeah. show. <laughs> and then, yeah. No, I, I don't know what we're gonna do, but you know, next week it's as always nonsense, nonsense, and nonsense only. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. What's he called? I, like I said, you know. Well, actually, next week. Oh. I mean, we're going to the movies, so we can probably review Spider Man. Yeah. Also on the podcast, and then yeah. other nonsense shenanigans shit. Yeah. Yeah, on Friday, what's it called? Because Saturday is when I just start shooting, so Saturday, Sunday, it's going to be devoted to that. Right. Uh, but Friday, we'll probably talk about, you know, a little bit about Spider-Man. I'm pretty yeah. sure that Brad's going to want to watch that, so we're going to have to do it on the main show as well, but it's okay. We talk we'll, do, we'll do a meme, like we do, like our, our, our semi-dumb yeah. uh, reviews, semi you know? Semi-dumb. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, so Spidey is coming, uh, that we're going to do. And uh, yeah, we're back, we're back in biz. Don't worry about it. I know you guys missed us. I don't know why you miss two idiots talking about literally nothing. And, like, you know, sometimes we get serious. Sometimes we're just the biggest idiots that you've ever heard. We're the last two brain cells in your body. In your That's body, what we yeah. are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to, you know, first of all, I want to thank the Patreon supporters that get this a day early. You guys are awesome. And uh, I want to thank uh, all you guys on the Patreon, but especially our executive producers. We have three of them now. Whoa. Yeah, we have Whoa, Grayson. Chill, chill, fam. All right, who's Gra the first one? Grayson. My man Grayson. Yep. Right, Go well. follow him on Instagram at Grayson Barker ninety eight, or on Twitter at Warlord Hitman ninety eight. All right. Dude, I love that. Yeah. What is it? Again? Warlord Hitman. Warlord Hitman. I can't even say it. Badass dude. Yeah, it rolls My off man. the tongue, man. My man. Yeah. Next, Shane. Shane, thank My you for man, being our, our, our producer, our executive producer. You can follow him on Twitter at, and this is going to be hard for me to do it. Okay. S, R, R. K K Twitch. Skirt. Okay? Because it's hard. It's If I say it fast, I go S R K A. Sirk. Sirk. Yeah. Or you can watch him play video games on S R R K. Twitch.tv slash S R R K. Okay? Go into that. And then finally, the third one, our wonderful uh, journey. 
Thank you, Journey, for being an awesome executive producer. You can go follow her on Twitter at IceMocha underscore Jorn, J-O-U-R-N. I really, really hope you like your Funko Pop that you got with your tier. It's awesome. And I, I really, really can't wait to see her reaction when she opens it. What kind of pop was it? I can't say it. But okay. she, she's a really big wrestling fan. And we got her a really, really good pop. So whenever she gets it, I have a feeling she's going to post about it. Nice. So thank you, Journey. Thank Thanks, you to Journey. everybody else who supports us. You can go follow us on Twitter at the NerdCore underscore Instagram at the NerdCore, Facebook page at NerdCore Pods. Join the Facebook group, the Nerdverse, the official NerdCore group at Facebook.com slash group slash the NerdCore. And that is it. It's been a fun time. Uh, go listen to Wawasis, the new album from J Balvin and, and Bad Bunny. Wow. The amazing. collab album. Yeah, dude. It's good. It was dope. The gym yeah. was good today. Yeah. Okay. Gym was good today. <laughs> yeah, it was good. I listened yeah. to that. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh. With that being said, it's been a wonderful time, and next time you listen to me, my voice will be a lot less stuffed. Yeah. Uh, Luis, you want to say anything? Yeah. Um, I don't know why I was thinking of this, but uh, you remember that pass the plate thing where he's like, I love zucchini. You remember that? <laughs> I just wanted to say that. I love he's zucchini. Like, when he's like, I love red pepper, and then he's like, I love zucchini. <laughs> we know, we know, Julian, you love red <laughs> But if it's too spicy <laughs> for the ratatouille or some shit. Oh. <laughs> Fucking Julian. You shit. All right. Anyways, that, that was it. Go watch ratatouille. Yeah. All right. Bye, guys. Ciao.